Hello, this is Exponents and Radicals, Radical Expressions, Example 2. And uh, here I have the square root of 2 times the square root of 8. And similarly, similar to the way I was able to split them in the last example, in this example I can put them together. So this becomes the square root of 16 and the square root of 16 is 4. So that answer simplifies to 4. Here I have the square root of 3x times 4 radical x. Well, 4 radical x, that's just 4 times radical x. So what I have here is 3 things multiplied together, and I'm going to switch the first two. So this is 4 times the square root of 3x times the square root of x. Now I can put these two together. So this becomes 4 times the square root of 3 and x times x is x squared. Well now I can split them apart. It becomes 4 times the square root of 3 times the square root of x squared. The square root of x squared is x. So this becomes 4x radical 3. And c part is, is this example. And I really have three things multiplied together. I've got this times 3 times the square root of x, and I'm going to switch these first two. So this becomes 3 times the square root of 7x y squared times the square root of x. And now I can put these together. So I get 3 times the square root of 7x squared y squared. Now I can split these apart. I can split the x squared apart and the y squared apart. And I want to do that because the square root of x squared is x and the square root of y squared is y. So this is going to be 3 times the square root of x squared times the square root of y squared times the square root of 7. And this becomes 3xy radical 7. 